it's Philip, and this week I learned on Scratch how to, um, basically, I learned how to program the portal so that when we program the portal, I basically thought that all you had to do was this, but then if you get rid of it, it will just, nothing will happen. So, I was thinking, and I figured out that you needed to do this, which would make it so that, very, very good. what's going on? So it's, um, it's tough to choose which one I think deserves this spot. And then... That's weird. Oh, there we go. Might have to go... Okay. So now, we'll go through the whole thing, and there will be no portal. But then when you come here, once you get past a certain point, the portal shows up. So, that's what we learned how to do this week. And we made a few more terrains. I think we put this one in. It's not the most fun terrain, but it works. And we put this one in. This is a really, really cool one. So, in our old game, what happened was, when you did the, um, you could just go back here. So what we thought of doing, clear this quickly. Okay. So we thought, why don't we put a little water back there? Because then no one can go back there. And it works like a charm. That's our project for the week. This week I learned about Diet Coke and Mentos. And I learned that why Diet Coke and Mentos produces so many bubbles is because of a process called nucleation, in which the carbon dioxide in the, uh, the Diet Coke wants to attach to something. So it attaches to the rough surface of Mentos very quickly. And since Mentos is heavy enough to sink in the Diet Coke, it makes bubbles all the way down. So this week, I learned how to make a one-player scratch game two players. And along with uh, not changing the scroll X variable on scratch, um, the Google Chrome logo looks great. We also had to add uh, for when the left arrows click, move ten steps, and when the right arrows click, move negative ten steps, so that it works. Each character works independently of one another, so it doesn't just rely on the scroll X variable. And that is what I learned. I also learned um, that it takes a lot of tries to make a game work because we this is our third game and we find. We really figured out how to do it. Although there are some glitches, we figured out the main parts of it.